Hi, in this session I'm going to explain about how somebody could um, up obtain a duplicate Aadhaar card um, through common service centers or uh, it is also called e-service centers. Um, this session is sponsored by wikiprocedure.com and all the information that I'm going to provide in this session um, can be obtained from this um, following link that is displayed here. Uh, I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video so you could access the link straight from here as well um, any links that I'm going to provide in the coming slides can be accessed from this following page I'm going to take you to this page and show you how the information is displayed so um, you could see the information is kind of displayed in headings which is um, easy to understand um, as well as uh, you could see the links are embedded in this page um, so you could access the links straight from here I'm going to take you to the slides. Following is a list of items that we're going to cover in the session. Eligibility if you have lost or damaged your other card, then um, you could go and obtain a duplicate other card. Steps to follow um, you know, um, you could uh, find the common service centers or the e service centers uh, in the municipality office or the Tassil office. Um, in the Tassil office, normally it is called the Tassil Computer Center. Um, in the municipality office, it's normally called as e-service centers. But you could also find the e-service centers or the common uh, service centers in independent buildings. Um, uh, the way to find out is you could access this following link, um, which I've listed here, and um, provide some information. And a list of office locations will be provided to you. Um, where you can choose the closest uh, nearest office uh, to your location. I'm going to take you to this link and show you how the information is displayed. So um, if I access this link, I, I would be taken to this page. Um, uh, here initially you would not be having this um, office location information here. You would be provided with this, these three text boxes where you choose um, information appropriately. Once you um, choose this information, um, at the office locations that are related to this um, location would be listed down here. So your job is to find out the nearest office locations um, from this list that is listed down here. Uh, the best way to do is uh, um, track your pin code and um, you would be able to find out the nearest office location. If you see here um, the contact names of the people and the phone numbers are provided, you could call them and get it confirmed um, when would be the best time to reach them um, and um, what are the documents that you have to carry and things like that. Um, with my personal experience, I would say um, you uh, normally there is a queue that you have to stand in to process your application. So you stand in a queue, yep, a token would be provided and you would be called in with regards to the token. Um, so the earlier you go, uh, the earlier you uh, complete or process your application. Sorry, it takes a bit of time. Um, fees, uh, I'm not very um, fully sure but normally it's... Um, free it should be free but you could confirm that with the um, um, person uh, in the center um, you know you could find the contact information of them in the page which I showed earlier so you could use that information and get this confirmed validity is your lifetime um, office locations as I showed you how to find out um, uh, any other information I would say you take a pin with you it's, it always helps um, you know to update any information in the application form or um, to refill a new application form, um, it definitely helps. So, um, thanks for listening. Hope I have provided enough information.